think, you know, uh, well, there's different parts to that question. Um, it's, yeah, you know, it's it's very nerve-wracking to uh, adapt something because there's so much pressure and you wouldn't be adapting it if you didn't love the original and want to, but also want to do something different because the original exists, so you can't redo the same thing, you know, and I felt like um, that was a path that I had traveled in, in Jane the Virgin in terms of um, ad adapting something. Um, it, it's... You know, for me, the experience on Jane, um, you know, you talk about representation and how important it is to see yourself, and I had always known all of those things, but I did not feel all of those things until I began Jane, because although I didn't see people that looked like me specifically, mm -hmm. I saw a lot of white people on TV, and you just, you, I didn't realize how much I took that for granted until I did Jane, and, um, you know, I could cry now thinking about, like, the Aww. tweets that I got <laughs> of people and telling me, like, how much it meant to them to see their family and, you know, their relationships and to see themselves being the hero in those stories. Um, and so I think just taking that as, as something, um, understanding how powerful that was, was part of the reason that we wanted this adaptation. That, you know, we, we had three beautiful, four beautiful white witches on screen before, so th th this wanted to be something different than that, and um, that was important, I think. For me, it's really been a, the progression of Jane. That, during the development of the show, there's been different iterations. Yes, definitely. What was it about this version that made the CW want to pick it up to series than the other version? Well, you know, we did a different iteration of it because um, we did we developed it the year before, and it was a really interesting moment because it was right. Um, we had we had done a, like a, a sort of a prequel in, in some ways, you know, and a, a lot of the reason it was because we wanted we thought, well, let's go back and and talk about race and talk about gender and and in the context of where we were in in hopes to um, push things forward and then the election happened <laughs> honestly and all of a sudden it felt like we weren't doing enough by being in the past that it suddenly became a show that wanted to be very much in the present and that all of these things that we thought we were going to be excavating in the past still needed to be excavated right now so I think that for us it kind of clicked on a creative level and, and I, I suppose the CW responded because we're here. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say kind of from a feminist perspective was you wanted to make sure you kept her bringing it forward? The, the, um, I think we, we were really conscious that in the original, as in uh, this version, the central love story is a love story between sisters, and that they are the most important to each other, that, that, that sense of like three women working together, different women can change the world. And I think that, that like to me, when I watch it, it's like, it's, it's about empowerment, it's about like, we can do this, and I think that that was the core essence that we wanted to carry into this reboot. Yeah, it does. I was at the panel before, and people reacted when that happened. Yeah. So, like, are we supposed to? Is there going to be like a tie to the original? Like, you can't tell me, but like, is there a hint for it? Uh, <laughs> I love that answer. That is so good. That was great. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yes, but, please. So you just said in your option from uh, Jane the Virgin yeah. and turned it all from CBS Studios. Yes. Is there a chance that with the crossover or for the term? No, they don't they don't live in the, in the same, same world. world. They do oh, not. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. okay. I like to keep things separate and especially like I understand why all the Arrowverse shows cross over it makes sense but I think sensibility wise and the you know they're just they feel too different to me but I mean you know maybe um Jane has magical realism she mm -hmm. might have a, a witch kind of fantasy you know <laughs> Thank you, I've got a four, but go ahead and ask your last question. Oh. Is there any kind of topic that you want to make sure that Jane is, that gets covered kind of a part of the backstory, or...? I think, I think, um, I'm not sure about the backstory, but I think that, that you know, I think we are realizing now more and more how everything personal is political. And I feel like the more we can draw that out in ways big and small, um, the more it will feel like it speaks to this moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.